Jordan Brand just released official images of the new retros that are set to release this fall of 2021. I'm excited to go over all the shoes with you guys, give you my opinions, thoughts, colorways, prices, all those different things. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification for every time I upload a new video and make sure you hit that like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. And just a side note, this is the first official video in the new room and I am just so excited about the backdrop. If you guys haven't seen the previous video on me remodeling this room, go check that out. I'm having a good time, but I'm telling you right now, I'm feeling official. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get it. So based off of the looks right now, I'm seeing 14 different pairs of red retros set to release this fall and that is men's and women's colorways retros 13s 14s 5s 6s 1s all different types of stuff so let's go ahead and get it going with the first shoe we have the air jordan 14 red lipstick now these right here have a red lining around the collar and the top area which i'm assuming is the representation of wearing the red lipstick obviously this is a women's release and they will come in women's sizing there isn't too much detail when it comes to exact release dates for any of the sneakers or any more detailed photos so the only thing i'm going to be able to show you guys is the profile shot of each sneaker as we go throughout the video there is also no information on the retail prices of these sneakers so when it comes to a shoe like this it's not probably going to even release in my size because i'm a men's size 13 and I just don't really like the shoe that much. So for me, it's an easy pass. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Next up, we have a shoe in a men's sizing and that is the Air Jordan 13 Obsidian. Now we know the Obsidian 12 is the OG when it comes to Obsidian sneakers, but we also know that Jordan Brand has been playing with different colorways from different sneakers and putting them onto different models. So to see them take the Obsidian colorway and bring it to the Jordan 13, I completely understand that. But me personally, I'm not really digging the shoe and I don't see myself picking it up for my collection. I wouldn't mind doing a review on it, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't keep them. Don't get me wrong. The shoe is not bad. I just know that I have so many sneakers that it's just not worth me keeping that sneaker in particular if I don't really love it like that. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 12 Utility. This is another sneaker that I have no intentions on getting in my collection, but I have somewhat of a feeling that the materials on the shoe are going to be really nice. I don't know, we will see once we get the shoe in hand, but I think a lot of people will appreciate this shoe once they get it. And again, I'm not bashing any of these shoes. I'm just letting you know what I plan on and don't plan on copping for the personal stash. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 3 Racer Blue, and these things right here are so fire. I don't know about you, but I just personally love them. They're giving me those fragment, fire red three, all different type of mixture vibes to it with a different elephant print pattern and stuff. I don't know, something about this shoe, I really like them. Let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section, but I'm telling you right now, this is definitely a cop for me. Next on the list, we have the Air Jordan 12 twist now these right here give me a different mixture of vibes when it comes to different shoes that i have seen as well the history of flight pack or the all white pack or even the rising sun air jordan 12 different type of things like that i think it's a sample kind of coming to life and i would be interested to see in this shoe in person if the quality and everything is there i would consider grabbing these ones for my collection but if they're all stiff and they don't feel comfortable and everything honestly i probably end up not keeping them but again we will see once this shoe comes out and i'm looking forward to trying to get my hands on these let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section next up we have a women's air jordan 6 called the golden hoops and this is kind of interesting because we just saw the other one the air jordan 14 the red lipstick and now this is the golden hoops so i'm assuming all the women's sneakers for the fall collection is sounding like they're trending towards the whole you know beauty and makeup and and the uh, aesthetic look and everything having the golden hoops on the sneaker and different stuff like that it's actually kind of funny because when i first saw images of the sneaker surface on the internet i was thinking the sonic gold rings from the video game that's just me now one thing that i can say is i think that the quality on this shoe is going to be amazing whenever they make women's sneakers they always do a great job when it comes to quality execution the thought process and stuff like that but i definitely think this golden hoops air jordan 6 is going going to be a sleeper and whoever gets their hands on them they're going to love them and i got my fingers crossed hoping that they have extended sizes on these because you know i love air jordan sixes obviously i'm gonna take the golden hoops off or i have to put a little sonic logo on there or something but i think they're pretty dope another shoe that i think is super dope as well i love the air jordan 7 bordeaux to see them bring the air jordan 7 hair to the jordan 6 hair now we have the jordan 6 bordeaux it's making complete sense they're taking colorways putting them onto different shoes and i'm telling you right now i like the six more than i like the 
7. So to see those colorways on the Jordan 6s, I am definitely not mad at that. These look like the quality is going to be super, super nice. A lot of people have already said they just look like the PSGs, and I completely understand that as well. The PSG was a sleeper. I used to have those in my collection. I got rid of them because they weren't my size. I had a size 12, and I was like, oh, I'll just grab a size 13 one day down the road. Next thing you know, price goes up crazy, and now I really don't want to pay the resale on them because they're just up too much. So when it comes to the Bordeaux 6, I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on these so that can supplement me not having the other pair. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 OG High Prototype. This shoe right here is just, I don't know, it's like kind of weird. It's not bad, but it's not good type thing. It's kind of one of those shoes where you just got to see it in person to make your decision. So I can't give you guys a complete answer on how I feel about the shoe right now. But what I can say is I'm going to stay open-minded for when I see this shoe in person. And then I'll let you guys know once I make the review. Let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. I can tell you for a fact right now, these are definitely not a top 20, not even a top 50, probably not even a top 100 Air Jordan 1 colorways. But at the end of the day, it's still not a bad shoe. Next up, we got an OG and probably one of the most anticipated sneakers for me because I had the OG pair had the retro got the new retro with the elephant print and I just love this shoe it is so comfortable I hope that is comfortable still when they make the retro but we have the OG Air Jordan 11 low IE in the bread colorway and I'm telling you right now bruh this shoe is a banger in my opinion. So classic, so iconic, I gotta have it. Here we have a women's Air Jordan 4 shimmer. Now I'm assuming, again, that kind of relates to the aesthetic of the makeup and the vibes and all that stuff. So I can understand the underlying theme that they have for all the fall releases for the women's shoes. And I'm telling you right now, there's gonna be a lot of controversy. Everybody's gonna say what? It's the poor man's off-white. I get it, I get it, I get it. But I'm telling you right now, I can already tell these don't look like that shoe. Don't compare the two shoes. Let them be what they are for what they are and not always comparing them in that way. Saying this one's bad because that and you don't have this and all that other stuff. It's okay. You can like both shoes. You can like one shoe. I completely understand. But all I'm saying is respect anybody that does like the shoe. And if you like this shoe, go after it. This one in particular, I'm probably not going to go after. But at the end of the day, I will try to get a review for you guys and ladies. Next up, in my opinion, probably the ugliest shoe for the fall release. And that is the Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 5. I'll I don't know what it is but for me personally these are just not tickling my fans and if you do want to know what tickles my fancy stick around to the end of the video i'll tell you but anyways back on topic as you can see right here the materials on the back with the different meshes and everything like that i mean the shoe is pretty self-explanatory i don't think i need to say too much i'll let you make your own decision on that one you can let me know how you feel down below in the comment section but as you can tell how i feel i don't even want to make a review on those all right you guys we have three sneakers left to finish off the video again if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying this and want to see more videos and don't forget to hit the like button now let's take it to the next shoe we have the air jordan 1 og high electro orange you guys know how i feel about orange sneakers these ones aren't doing it for me either the color blocking is throwing me off i'm not really a fan of the aesthetic on the orange on the back and at the bottom of the shoe with the white end and the way they did the color pattern again that's just my opinion let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section but i'm sure like any other air jordan one og high what's gonna happen they're gonna come out retail is gonna be 170 bucks and next thing you know they're gonna be a 350 dollars shoe i don't think this shoe will ever be worth 350 bucks in my opinion on what i'm willing to spend but again I don't control the market it still could potentially happen next up we have the women's air jordan 1 og high seafoam i have seen a lot of different conversations about this one over the past couple weeks from leaked images that we've seen on instagram and different stuff like that and i'm telling you right now i need to see the materials in person to truly make my decision about this shoe and again it's a women's air jordan one so i'm probably not even going to be able to purchase it anyway but that'll just let you guys know my opinion about the shoe so i'll try to get a review for you guys when that shoe comes out let me know what you think about these down below i would probably switch up the laces just to keep it a little bit more simple and basic maybe just some regular all white laces or something like that but again we shall see when the time comes i'm excited to see these ones though and last but not least we have one of the probably the most anticipated air jordan ones for this year i don't know what well, i can't say for this year but i think for this this season fall season i think this is probably the best air jordan one to release and that is the pollen air jordan one aka the wu-tang air jordan one aka ghost dealers aka bumblebee aka you name it but i think these are going to be super super dope i saw these in person already the materials are a one and i love this shoe i'm excited to grab these and get these in my collection do a comparison against the iowa dunks and all different type of stuff like that let me know what you think about these down below will you be going after them what do you think the resale is going to be on these all the different type of stuff like that but i'm definitely anticipating this shoe and i'm excited to try to get these in my collection 
So overall, that was about 14 different sneakers that I showed you. And realistically, I'm probably willing to pick up about five of those 14 for my personal collection. Maybe actually probably four or double up on a couple other ones or something like that. So out of those 14, which ones do you plan on picking up? Drop a comment down below. <laughs> and I'll see you guys after the comment winner because I got something for you. All right, you guys, I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna make extra money or grow your shoe collection, I want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ, I'm signing out. I got to go, I'm gone, peace. All right, you guys, you ready for the secret on what tickles my fancy? Okay, I don't really have one, but drop a comment in the comment section saying tickle my fancy. This one's gonna be hilarious. Whoever gets the most likes, I'll feature you in the next video. All right, you guys, I'm out.